interesting na yung gawin natin. So, the use of this bulb. This bulb has a uh, rubber, sort of concave rubber on its tip. And one end and the so hand side is sort of teeth that you can hold into it. What you do is to put this thing inside free surface. This soft rubber thing has to pull it out with scrape scrape whatever is inside. Come on after the baka and then that will give you an idea if the air bangs the load, Kosta or Pasi or whatever it is. And you have to smell sometimes. Para mga bar ano dun sa siya. Pasi na smelly or Pasi na kopila. It will give you an indication somehow. If kung saan dito sa infection. Kung naaman galing infection. We usually do it before making. So that whatever is that problem, there is maybe na na sa baka is makolet siya before making. So that they will cycle well, cycle sila taong, and makamiting sa taong. Ang ito ni mo is you'll have a good result. So I have to do every cow na palabay sa akong atabangan and inis na ko ilang number kung tayo na i-different siya sa itong I think na i-problem inis na ko ilang number kung hindi sa simulitin sa ilang problem and then i-drop na ko sila the next day to print them Check So ang result na ko ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Na ko ay 7 cows out of 640 
na incident mo kami na nakapit. Kinahawan niya siya i-trip. So, akong gamito na nais ka itong exceed or itong intrauterine na metricure. I don't know what's inside of metricure, but it's an intrauterine drug. And, na pa yung mga list na rin na white pass that most of them are newly cut. So, it's not worth treating them. It's because they haven't had enough time to cycle yet. And that's why old cows, most of those seven cows should have cycled and should have cleared themselves. They, they should have enough time to clear themselves. They, they come a month ago, more than a month ago. So that's the story. In front of me here are the drugs I used to treat those uh, dirty cows when they did the metro check. Uh, so basically I used two, this um, intrauterine thing and uh, injectable. Uh, this intrauterine thing contains cefapirin, which is a, a cephalosporin drug. This cefapirin uh, was introduced way back in 1970. It's an old drug, but it's basically been used for treating mastitis way back then. But now it is being used to treat subacute and chronic intrauterine infection. And with this exceed, it contains CIFTU4, which is a third generation cephalosporin. The advantage of these CEFA drugs, these two drugs, is that they don't have any withdrawal periods for the milk. So you can still milk your cows for human consumption, even if you treated them with these drugs. Another advantage of this, um, especially this Exceed, is this CEFTU4, is it is resistant to beta-lactamase. Beta-lactamase is the enzyme produced by the bacteria to attack beta lactam containing drugs which is basically the penicillin family so when you use this that problem is mitigated so when do i use this intrauterine and this uh injectable one uh, so i do intrauterine treatment uh, if i see that the cow is healthy and the infection is localized, so wala well, systemic nga involvement. But if na systemic nga involvement, I'll use this exceed so that I could cover that end as well, ang systemic involvement. The way this uh, intrauterine thing work is basically you're doing AI. So whoever among you there have had an experience uh, doing AB, so basically, muna ay mong ginahimo. You insert your arm through the rectum and insert this thing through the reproductive tract and then go all the way through the cervix and you deposit the drug. So that's how you do it. And yep, hope I help you a bit or did I confuse you even more? Hope the first one is true. See ya. See ya.